Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. Uh, Jake says we are here. Here. Nice. Nice to see you. Uh, I'm so glad that you're uh, able to make it to the stream. I'm glad that uh, everyone who's here is here. Uh, thanks for coming, everyone. And we are live. So we are going to be looking at the new uh, Mordred unit. Uh, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Like, it, she seems very, very good. Uh, I'm on the Overdrive uh, account right now. Uh, we hot. Nice, nice. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so let's uh, start looking at our kit. Uh, hey, hey, what's up? How's it going? I, I saw like part of your video, not the whole thing, but dude, she looks, she looks very, very good. Uh, we are with uh, Morgit. We're just gonna look at our kit real quick and like give it a rundown. So uh, first we have uh, Royal Bloodbath. Immediately gives all allies with burn the turn like a turn it's a give turn to everyone that's burning that's massive that's so good like uh it's a little weird that it's like five i think it's somewhat because of like it gives like your allies turns before and then so she can go after that but yeah this is like super strong for a uh, burn team like if everyone has burn and you give all of them turns immediately, that's super, that's very, very strong for burn teams. Uh, and you know with healing burn, well, that's, that's just healing burn pretty much. Uh, it then grants user healing burn for 300 and it's locked for 200 after each use. So, which, which, which makes sense because that's a very, very strong ability and I'm, I'm excited to put her on the burn team. Like she's, I think she's going to be very, very good. Uh, heated Strike, 100 damage to one enemy, 400 if the user's burning, and 600 if there are at least four uh, units burning. So it's kind of like a burn drive effect. Uh, users granted healing burn for 300, and you get a charge after damage dealt. Oh, does the other one get charge? Yeah. Okay, this one gets a charge. And then, um, yeah, so it's pretty much like a uh, burn strike or a uh, burn drive if there's multiple uh, allies or people with burn. So very strong, super fast, 50 is very short, uh, 400 is a good amount, 600 is a lot of damage as well and gives you spirit and plus like it's, it's only 50 to you. So she's gonna be, she's very fast, like almost all of her abilities uh, are instant very short and or give spirit except for royal uh, crimson sting but i think i think it be, could be worth it uh hey carlex hey estonix hi everyone hope hope all of you guys are having a good friday uh nice relaxing chill hang uh thanks for coming out and hanging out with me and checking out this new unit and yeah uh royal crimson sting 300% damage to all enemies, plus 100 for each charge stored up to 600. So you can get the uh, charges from this. And um, I, I thought you could get it from, oh no, it's from the passive. The passive gets you as well. But yeah, you can get charges from Heated Strike. If you have three of them, you can do 600% damage to all enemies and it ignores stealth. That is insane and the user is granted a charge after damage is dealt so usually like it consumes charges but this one you get more charges and that's really really good and uh user needs to be burned or if the user is on the battlefield but yeah so having burn on her it should be fairly easy especially if you're with a burn team getting that burn off should be very very easy uh, Mordred is a great replacement for uh, Commander Astrid. Okay, nice, nice. I mean, there's so many good burn units now. It's kind of like a who. There's so many good ones. I don't know who I should replace and like uh, substitute out for her, because like, yeah, there's there's a lot of really good burn units. Uh, Burning Blood, it, it gives you three spirit. It's instant. Users granted a mega healing burn for 100. Uh, it's healed for max, which is kind of nice since 
Uh, I think that's the only way that she heals in terms of like um, like active skills. I think passive. She does heal. Yeah, her her passive heals her. So yeah, uh, I think the important part for this that I think it resets her hold ground plus if I remember correctly. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Somewhere. Hold ground plus. Uh, yeah, uses burning blood. It resets hold ground plus. So I think. This is going to be your big whole ground plus resetter. Um, that's that's the main use for it. I want to say, and it kind of like it, I think it's it probably be worth um, using the store charges, but like it's like store charges give you a lot of damage, or it resets your whole ground plus for survivability. So hopefully, I'm hoping the AI only uses this uh, when she is out of hold ground plus. And not as a healing mechanism, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, now we need one more burn unit to complete the modernization, dude. I there's there's a lot of there's a lot of really good ones that you could put in there. Yeah, there's burn burn is burns eating good. Uh, passives ashes to ashes to ashes. Uh, it's pretty much whole ground plus. That's resettable. Yeah, yeah. Uh, each time it takes damage from attack while burning and survives, blah, 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 it will immediately get a turn. So it's like whole ground plus with a counter stance skin passive that isn't a skin passive <laughs> effect. Uh, and this all this means is like uh, there's a lot of abilities that ignore skin passives. I think that means this isn't one of them and like it's harder to avoid like i don't know if stealth skills that avoid skin passives will trigger this or i think i think it means it'll still trigger even like if they get hit by a ignore skin passive thing so that's really good and it's it's it can it can be really good i don't think we've ever had a burn unit with a counter stance uh that i can think of off the top of my head like she does a lot of really good things that we've just never seen before in terms of burn units. Like counter stance, that's a skin passive on top of uh, give turn to everyone on top of possibly 600% damage to all enemies that ignore stealth. Like it doesn't ignore skin passes, but I think stealth's like kind of a little more important one just because it's harder to deal with but i don't uh, stealth hasn't been eating good recently <laughs> like before stealth was everywhere and it was really really hard but stealth hasn't gotten a new unit for a while so it's it, it kind of helps in the future probably possibly uh we all know that pre 21 and 22 units aren't enough to match up against sleep and mega poison units I mean, yeah, dude, there's it yeah, the power creep is very hard. I modern sleep, there are very, very few things that can match up with modern sleep. And Mega Poison, there's uh it's just it's just so diverse. Like you can put it in a lot of things. Like I don't know, I feel like burns at a pretty good place right now. Uh aside from crisis, we don't talk about crisis. Crisis is <laughs> It's been in a bad place for a long time. Or, well, since 2.0, it's been in a pretty bad place. But yeah, Burn's, burn's going to be good. Uh, blood Reaping, not affected by stun, so that's always a plus. Like It's nice that you don't have to worry about uh, if it's within the Burn threshold, like um, has Burn status. It's just flat out immune to stun, which is always good for Burn units. Uh, whenever a non-conjured uh, unit on battlefield is defeated or sacrificed, this unit gets 100% HP, becomes enraged, and gets a charge and healing burden effect. This is really good <laughs> because uh, it's whenever any non-unit conjured unit 
is defeated. So it could be your ally, it could be the enemy. Just something dies that's not a Mori and 100% heal enraged and gets a charge. It's, it sounds insane. Like, it sounds absolutely just kind of broken. <laughs> like, she has pretty much almost everything you would want in a unit for burn. Like, I think the only thing that she's missing would be ignoring, uh, or like getting past the whole ground plus things of like preventing people from dying. But like, that would be just insane. And we already have Gilgamesh. So just her and Gilgamesh together, I kind of want to pair those two together. And it would be just terrifying. Like, yeah, I think she has a lot of potential. She has a lot of really, really good things going for her. And that's why I said, fully awakened summoning video. Yeah, I think this is going to be a... Not, it's more or less a must-have for me in terms of uh, my current funds of Soul Stones and uh, where I'm at on my team. Uh, still trying to figure out a good team for Mega Poison and Burn. I hope there could be more rerun Mega Poison character banners. I, I'm pretty sure there will be. Like, there's there's a lot of uh, good Mega Poison units out there. I think we, like, kind of recently got uh, Cleopatra. That, like, just finished. I think. Oh, no, she's still here. She's still here. Yeah. She's not necessarily... Is she Mega Poison? I just know Imposter is the first thing I think of. Eh, chance of Mega Poison. But, yeah, Cleopatra... Like, if you're looking for a Mega Poison and you're cool with Imposters, Cleopatra's definitely up there. You got a, you got a day in 10 hours. Uh, I would not recommend Lafay. <laughs> would not recommend Ryoma. <laughs> but yeah, if you're looking for Mega Poison, uh, I'd say Cleopatra's a very, very good contender. Contender. But yeah. Uh, Dark Sun Wukong will rerun soon. Uh... I will full. I want to fully awaken her. Oh no, hundred percent. I, dude, I love my Dark Sun Wukong. She's just, she's just fun. It's very, it's kind of niche-ish sometimes, but in terms of fun factor, fun factor alone, I think Dark Sun Wukong is possibly my favorite character right now. Just, it's just the doppelgangers are just so satisfying, and yeah, I, I think Dark Sun Wukong is definitely. Uh, definitely up there. I would highly recommend. Uh, I pull margin in 5k. That's, that's good. That's really good. I uh, hope you can get some of my luck. Thank you. Thank you. I could... All the luck I can get. All the luck I can get. Uh, I use the friendship summon trick. That is true. That is true. Uh, what team should she be in? Uh, for Mordred, burn. 100% burn. Uh, if you're talking about Dark Sun Wukong... Uh, I'd say, like, Poison or Survival. Like, she could go on, like, uh, like, her Poison entry kind of just screams Poison. Since you don't really want to mix that with Burn, and you don't really want to mix that with Sleep either. But, like, other than that, I'd say eh, Poison or just, if you kind of just want to run uh, a whatever team or uh, some other theme team, but I'd say... Poison's a definitely a safe bet for Dark Sun Wukong. Uh, I didn't fully awaken Dark Sun Wukong last two months since I can't spend my Soul Stones lower than 200k. That's fair, that's fair. Yeah, you definitely want to um, watch your spending and uh, not go too low. And definitely have reserves just in case because there's bound to be a brand new unit. Yeah, that's very, very strong. Okay. Starting at four or six forty three. So hopefully before like five ninety three is my goal. Like within within five hundred. Come on. Fully awaken. Oh wait, I forgot to do the friend summon. Let's let's that is someone else. Alice. Okay, it's Alice. Uh, I have a mega poison team with fully awaken, Cleo and King Arthur, uh, with Percy and Margaret as my uh, battalion one it's running pretty well in 76 nice nice that's that's that sounds like a very strong team Percy again like super good support King Arthur's 
also very solid. Uh, Mordred's a little interesting just because like the uh, the poison with the burn, but it, if it's working, then that that's that's good. That's good. Okay, let's do the friend summon. I went to the wrong screen. All right, let's try the friend summon out. Let's do the free ones, free one, and max. That's a lot of character exp. Okay. I don't know why I keep pressing that button on accident. Okay, come on. Friend summon luck. Friend summon luck. Uh, after 50k, I thought I got first Marja copy, but appeared to be the 69th current. Oh, that's rough. Uh, dude, 50k? Uh, I could have sworn it was pity, but someone said there's a glitch that uh, pity's not hitting for some people. But that that that's really that really sucks if uh, pity doesn't trigger and some sort of glitch is happening. Uh, I fully awaken King Arthur and Cleopatra. Uh, Dark Stone caused only one left. I didn't fully awaken. Okay, I mean, definitely definitely on the to do list then, because yeah, King Arthur and Cleopatra are also very good units as well. Uh, she applies burn to everyone, and then when the team hits the enemy, they get the turn kind of OP. That is true. That is true. That is true. Like, if you... Yeah, plus you, you get the give turn. I'm just thinking, like, a lot of the poison... Well, I mean, if the poison unit, unit doesn't uh, rely on poison to do damage, like a poison eater type skill... Maybe it won't be too bad. But yeah, um, I mean, it, it could work. Oh, I remember uh, that 36k Soul Stone Fully Awakened Mordred deal we got, Matt. Dude. Yeah, dude. Uh, 36. I don't know about 36. Um, 36k. I, I'm, I got a feeling it's probably good more than 36k. <laughs> uh, Percy just heals the burn damage. Okay, makes sense. Uh, sup, am I late? Hey, how's it going? It's good to see you. Uh, you're not too late. We're not that far in. We are like, uh, almost a hundred in. I think two more. So we're 80 in. We're 80 in right now. So we, we kind of just looked at our kit and we got 80 pulls in, uh, still no copies. Hopefully, hopefully we can get some good luck now that you're here. Uh, my E1 has poison stun units only since it was seriously built proper team that I wasted on E2's potential. <laughs> okay, okay. I mean, I remember like poison stun used to be the, the big meta before because like it synergized really well. Like uh, poison got rid of burn which was immune to stun. And without the burn, you could stun people. But now a bunch of uh, burn units are just completely immune to stun. So it doesn't quite work like quite the same, but it, I, I, I think it still works. Like there, there are still some uh, cases where burn units do require uh, the burn or just you fight against other uh, units. Is that it? There it is. First copy, first copy. Hopefully you can hear a little bit of that. Close, close to the mic. First copy, there we go. Yeah, got got the good luck now that uh Himero's here, right? That means that means it's gonna be back to backs now. Back to backs. Ooh, congrats. Thank you, thank you. I'm 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 uh I'm excited. Uh is this gonna be a fully awakened session? It is, it is. Good luck boost. Thank you so much for the uh the super chat. Amazing. Thank you so much. I, I really, really appreciate it. And it, it means a lot to me. 
back to back. First coffee, yes, first coffee, first coffee. But maybe we can get a second. Maybe we got the boost luck, the luck boost. Luck boost back to back. Luck boost back to back. There we go. Back to back. I want to say the luck boost worked. Luck boost worked. I'm, I'm, I'm harding it. I'm liking it. Luck boost. It worked. It worked. There we go. There we go. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Thank you so much for the luck boost. There we go. That, 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 I think it helped. It definitely helped. There's no way. There's no way. I, I feel, I feel like, I feel like I would be greeting at this point if I got three. There's no way there's three in a row. This is peak content. There we go. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm excited about it. I was, I was expecting. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, three in a row. I think that that'd be a little too greedy. I'm like back to back possible three in a row at stretching it. I'm, I'm, I'm completely happy with back to back. Still good. Still good. I mean, we're doing pretty, yeah, we're doing, we're doing really good. We're not even 200 in yet. Two copies. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's going very well, very well. Uh, how many soul stones spent so far? We started at 643, and I think we're at 620-something. I didn't see that last digit. We're at 625, so two away from 200. So 180 in. That's not bad. That's, I'm, that's definitely doable. I'm, I'm happy with uh, two copies. It's very good start. Very good start. Very respectable. Okay, here's 200. Come on, let's see. Let's see that number three. Let's see number three. Where is he at? Where is he at? Two copies and 18K is pretty good. It is. It is. I will definitely take it. Like, uh, definitely use all as much as much good luck as possible in the beginning. Especially the dupes. Like, if you get if you get uh, any dupes, like um, multis in one pool, definitely definitely want it to be at the beginning and not when you're looking for that last copy, because <laughs> it has happened. Friendship power. Let's go. That is true. That's true. Let's 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 try. Let's go back to the friendship, and do another max. We can use we can use a little bit more friendship. The power of friendship. The power of friendship in anime never fails. There we go. The power of anime friendship. Come on. Come on. Power of friendship. The power of friendship. Maybe, maybe. Ooh. Maybe not. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Power friendship real? <laughs> Power friendship, let's go. It's it's still going. I mean, Power Friendship still possible. Still possible. It's still there. Still a possibility. Come on, don't don't fail us, Power of Friendship. Don't fail us. Get those uh MC main character vibes going. Don't be the side character. Please don't be the side character. <laughs> Power of friendship works only if you're the main character, I believe. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, we are 300 in. So we should be due. We should be due for one. This could be it. Come on, come on. Power friendship, power friendship. There should be a flashback going. That is true. The flashback montage, the the back to back, the 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 flashbacks of uh like two minutes ago. <laughs> uh, bro, how many weapon banner SSR weapons have you got going, dude? I have. It's a very good question. I have way more than the normal person should have. Well, so like all of these are fully awakened. I think everything that's level uh, 40 or above is fully awakened weapons. Like, yeah, I think everything that's 40 or above is fully awakened. Like, I have way, way too many. Um, oh, well, I guess that one's not. Oh, I guess some of these are missing, but yeah. I have way, way too many uh, SSR uh, weapons going on. <laughs> like, there's, there's a lot that I should probably uh, just awaken just to make the inventory a little bit better. But yeah, there's plenty, plenty uh, fully awakened SSR weapons. Uh, oh, thank you so much. Okay, let's separate the third super on live stream. Hell yeah. Thank you so much, Angelo. Thank you so much. There we go. Okay, we got the Angelo donation. That means that means it's coming. That means it's coming. Mordred number three is coming. I will lend you power, Goku. Yes, there we go. Come on, come on, power of friendship. Oh, oh, that's not, that's someone else. I mean, it burns, not the right burn. Let's, let's, let's try to go back to the friend. Friend summon. Maximum power! And here we go. Uh, bro, you have an arsenal of fully awakened SSR. I do. There are a lot of SSR weapons. I have stopped uh, claiming the event ones. <laughs> like, I don't redeem them anymore. Uh, wait, BRB, I must be run my shower. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully, we might. By the time you get back, for sure, get number three coffee at least. <laughs> At least. Uh, what's a shower, says Pig. Very very fitting for the username. Uh, if you forge SSR weapons, it can give you blue pots. That is true. That is true. Blue pots are useful for uh, getting them up higher. Damn, it's it's been a minute, though, since the last copy. Like, we have the back-to-back, -back, and then now we're almost... We're almost 400 in. Come on, we... Definitely are due for one. I mean, we, we, got, we got the good luck going. Come on, come on. We can do it. We can do it. I believe, I believe. Come on. Here it is. Here it is. I feel it. I feel it. Let's see it. Oh, you don't want to see him. <laughs> you don't want to see the SR. Go away, SRs. Uh, damn, looks like we're going on hell of a hard pull. I guess your luck on the other banners, Jessica's is mine. Yeah, dude, it's 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 it's, it's starting to dr pull teeth now. The first two, really good. These next, oh man, it's like right in your face. Like, 
it's like maybe there's hope and then he pops up just immediately immediately pops up oh god yeah immediately pops up okay we are yeah officially 400 in two copies still Oof, okay it's 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 not looking the best could be better could be better Come on, come on. Here we go, here we go. Please, please, believe. There we go, finally, finally, finally. This slowly turned from back to back baby to 40K, two coffees. Yeah, it did. It really did. Three coffees now, three coffees. We got three coffees. Can change the number. Whew, okay, 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 okay. I mean, it's, po it's possible we get multiple. It's very low possible, but it's possible. Okay, we s maybe maybe we just had to get the third one out of the way. There we go. Three copies. Well, yeah, there we go. There we go. Three copies. Three copies. I mean, can we still get our 500 go? We would need to get it before 593. I think it's still possible. Get two copies within like 80. Like we've done it before. I don't know how we did it before, but we, we've done it before. It's, it's possible. It's possible. Come on. Two more. Two more. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. I mean, copy three took a it took it took a bit. It took a bit. How many summons do you think I'm gonna need for number four? Like, starting from now in terms of multis, let's let 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 let's, let's see the cut. Let's let's see a chat. Uh, 8k for a copy, reasonable. Let's go and win it, man. Like 8k. I I need two copies actually within. Okay, uh, we're looking at seven. Okay, so he's thinking seven multis, seventy. 70 pulls, we get our next copy. Honestly, that, that's... It could it could be. 15, that's also very possible. Hopefully it won't take that long, though. Hopefully hopefully it's a very low number. Uh, 15k for our next copy. Okay, Pig, Pig's also thinking 15. Uh, maybe, maybe, we, maybe we can get some lower numbers. <laughs> hopefully 15 doesn't win. <laughs> We have two people betting on 15. Okay, let's see. Here is number one. Come on. Or 50. Yeah, no, let's, let's not go pity. Let's no, not go pity. Come on. Two? Two? Prove all you guys wrong? Come on. Two multis? No, no, not two multis. Ah, okay. Not there, not there. Uh, did pity system work? Well, uh, pity system is, to my knowledge, is uh, pity is if you summon 500, like, in a row, you, and, like, don't get the uh, focused Mordred character, then it gives you uh, a copy. I don't think it's a, uh, you get an extra copy at 500. I think it's if you get nothing within 500, you get it at 500. I believe that's how it works. Yeah, because I, I don't think I've ever really counted 500 exactly, but uh, in terms of from start of session to 500, I usually count like in-between sometimes. And the in-betweens, if it hits 500, then you're guaranteed as, as far as I'm aware. Uh, I believe in skill and skip pull supremacy. Okay, come on. I mean, I, th I think we're at three. There. Oh no.
I mean, if it's if it's like that, I I I'll definitely skip it. Like I'll I I definitely skip that. Good. Number five. Please be closer to seven than fifteen. Please be closer to seven. <laughs> there we go. Closer to seven. There, closer to seven. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Not, not fifteen. Not fifteen. There we go. Celia Stowe was closer. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Okay, one more copy. I believe one more copy. Uh, I like blue archive pity system more. I can get a character in 200 pulls. Nice, nice, nice. GG, one copy left. Okay, Angelo's thinking 8K. What is everyone else thinking? I mean, 2K, 2K would technically be 500 total. Uh, 8 to 12k. Okay. Let's see it. Please. Lower number. I love I love Silagito's uh, G's 4. I, 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 I like the known numbers. I like the no numbers. Low numbers gives me confidence. It, it, it makes me believe. It makes me believe there's a chance. Is he going to win twice? Please, please win twice. Please win twice. It'd be great if you win twice. If you win twice, I win twice. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. One more copy, then fully awaken. Yeah, one more, one more. Okay. There's number two. Come on. Okay, so it's going over 500, but that's okay. I mean, 500, I feel like, is like a uh, range you sh usually shoot for. But if go a little bit over... That, that that's fine as long as it's not 500 for one copy that's 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 brutal okay here's number four come on i'm rooting for you i'm rooting for you please let it be four please let it be four ah it's not four okay next we have six for uh khan i i'm sorry if i pronounce your name wrong i'm khan 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 okay six six is the next target Here's number five. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Five? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Come on. Five. Last copy. Last copy. Ah. Still a chance. Okay. Well, he did guess six on the dot. Let's see if it's six on the dot. Number six. Number six. Come on, number six. Let's see it, let's see it. Abuse friend summons. Okay, let's... I mean, if we get it here, we might not need to. Come on, come on. Six. Don't need it. Don't need it. <laughs> there we go, number six. Whew, thank goodness this is a low number. Thank you, thank you for the good luck. Uh, Khan or Kahan. I, I, I'm sorry if I pronounce your name wrong. Thank you for the good luck. There we go. Boom. Boom. Lucky guess. Let's go. Yeah, boy. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you so much for the good luck. Okay. That was 588. Oh, that's a, it's a little bit. It's, it's not. It's, it's a little bit more. It's a little bit more than uh, 500. Started at 6.43, ended at 5.88. It's a, it's, a, it's a little bit more. Okay, let's get her fully awakened. I have a lot of characters <laughs> to uh, level up. Fully awaken. All five copies, let's go. get that boost up to like yeah, at least a hundred I'll probably eh. I wonder how, I 
feel like I have to see how, how much more levels I need for my other characters. Like, I feel like I still need to throw some more in Gilgamesh. Okay, here's 100. Uh, my mom got disgusted when she... Uh, oh, is it bad? Third art. Oh, oh, I see what you mean. It's possible, it's possible. Congratulations, failed deal, but still got the fully awakened. Thank you so much for all the super chats, man. I, I, really, I really appreciate it, man. It means a whole lot to me. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Angelo. Uh, your mom saw it. Dude, I would be concerned. I don't think my parents... I I I don't I don't show my parents the uh, Everdale. Uh, it's it's definitely not on my uh, list of games that I would like to show my parents. <laughs> in particular, I don't think I have any censoring stuff prepared. I probably should have. How bad is it? How bad is it? It's, it's pretty bad. It could be worse. It could be worse. Knowing Evertale, it could be worse. Okay, I... I eh. It's bad, but it could be worse. It could be worse. It's, it's, it's a very tight line of... Uh, is this okay for YouTube? Very, very, very thin ice uh, walking on. Okay, let's see. Uh, what is Gilgamesh? Twenty one fifth. I I think I can match that. That's 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 definitely. Uh, I don't care since I'm an adult. True, it's like you, you kind of don't, but at the same time, it's kind of, you kind of do care a little bit. Just that uh, small kind of like internal, just like, sure, whatever, but at the same time, like, li 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 little bit of remorse just on the inside. Just, just, just a tad bit, just, just a tad bit. Uh, are you winning, son? <laughs> for real just walked to the room oh son you got uh yourself uh one of them those things <laughs> i hope you're winning that's a uh, definitely fun fun conversation to have with your parents uh it's bad considering she's a lot that is very true like it's was was she more of an adult before? Uh, uh, she doesn't very. She does not look very adult like. She 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 kind of looks like a lolly. Uh, my ten year old nephew plays Evertail. Yo, that's kind of sketch, man. <laughs> that's kind of sketch. I I would not show my nephew um, Evertail. I definitely would not show him that. Like maybe maybe if he got to like teens even teens i still i if anything i would not be the one introducing it to him <laughs> yeah if anything i i would not be the one introducing it <laughs> if they discovered it on their own then it's kind of out of my hands but i don't want to claim responsibility for the introduction <laughs> uh let's Let's replace that. Let's replace that and let's edit this to go higher up. Okay. Yeah, let's steal that one. Steal your weapon, two hundred. Eh, oh, that's eh, that's all kind of important. And eh, I'll steal that one. Sure, sure, that works. 
blah, blah, blah. I didn't even tell him to do that. <laughs> oh, well, teens are even worse. That is kind of also true. I don't know. Teens bad. Ten's also bad. It's they're both they're they're both bad. They're they're both bad. Uh, that's the down the rabbit hole we go. He'd be becoming a man of culture. They're I uh, I don't know. They're it's both bad. <laughs> Ten's. I I can't I can't say what's worse. Like Ten's like very young. Teen is, they know what they're doing and it's kind of it's kind of bad. But I, I don't I don't know. Uh, remember when Evertail used to be monsters? Me neither, dude. It, I remember. I remember. I remember when they used to be dragons. Uh, fully awaken her weapon banner banner weapon. Oh, that's true. That's true. We can we could give her the weapon. Uh, real quick, <laughs> what does it look like? What is her weapon banner? Uh, bonus attack against units that are 50% or less max HP. Okay, okay. That's, that's not bad. That's not bad. Clarinetto? I know. I definitely for sure butchered that name. Uh, that and I kind of just read it wrong. There's so many. Which one was it? This one. This one? This one. Uh, Clarent. Clarent. Fifty percent or less max HP. I don't know. Is that is that a good weapon for her? I figured. If anything, should want people at max hp since like she's attacking all well eh, or maybe i don't know yeah i'm iffy about the weapon it's it's I, I think it's okay i think i think it's okay uh but we if anything we do just want to match the weapon type so that she does get that bonus but uh we'll we'll worry about that later Okay, who do we replace with Mordred? I mean, we could put Bride Astrid in there somewhere as well. Uh, I know you have a million of those pieces already. Yeah. Uh, how was the summoning sessions? Uh, 58k fully awakened. Yeah, so like 580 summons? I guess, yeah. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Bride Astrid. I mean, I got, I got Gil. I feel like I wanna, I wanna pair Gilgamesh with Mordred, just cause like all the only thing she's lacking is getting rid of the whole ground plus, and Gilgamesh can get rid of that whole ground plus. But Nobunaga is good for energy. Ah, uh, there's. She got Garden Incinerator though. That's it's. There's a lot of good units. I maybe maybe throw Bride Astrid there. Uh, replace Nobu with Mordred and Nobu again with Bride Astrid. Uh, okay, so no Nobu's down there. Cerberus in the reinforcement. And then double asteroids. Uh, bring Morden to the front row. Yeah. She is over here. She is first floor. And I guess Cerberus? I forget. I think she. I, I remember she does a lot of healing to her she does heal all allies as well i mean astrid also heals too though uh no service up front and plays commander astrid at the back uh okay let's let's try that let's try that then let's see how that goes okay Let's see 
what teams we can find. Those are very high battalion. Asleep. No, that's poison. Uh, yeah, poison. I mean, poison's always fun. It's this is a very this is a very strong team. It's a, that's they're uh, maybe not this one. I don't. Eh, I mean, it's mainly the first battalion or platoon. Mainly worried about the first platoon. I think if we can get past the first platoon, we'll be okay. Sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let, 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 let's try. Uh, bah, bah, bah. No Cerberus up front. Bah, bah, bah. Double guard defends Morgid a bit from dying fast to units like Cleo since Morgid has super high hate. Test it. Fight a sleep team. He <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's 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 check. Let's check for sleep. Let's find them sleepy boys. Ah, oh, there, they're asleep. Well, I feel like, oh, there's sleep and there's Cleo. That, I think that works. At the same time, I feel like Burn's kind of good against sleep. Uh, and just in, just in the sense of Kaguya and Sleeping Beauty, because Burn just kind of destroys uh, Sleeping Beauty and um, Kaguya. Okay, let's see if let's see if I have the damage. <laughs> Is the damage enough? Okay, we got rid of one. We got rid of one. Ooh, yo, that's a lot. That's a lot of damage. I did not care about the unkillable um, Micaiah. That's. That was that was a lot of damage. Do it again. Yo, she hits like a truck. She hits very hard. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, on a playable Hoshinha Hoshi. Good day, mate. Burns major weakness is sleep. Assuming sleep has. Uh, Water Anya and Orohime. Damn, your team is more lethal now. Holy heck, this unit is a mon- Dude, she hits hard! She- Oh, oh, she- Unreal, but- Yeah, dude, she hits very hard. And the whole ground plus is nice. Yeah, the whole ground plus is very nice to have, like, a little bit of a reassurance back, back up. Especially if she's not like fully invested in yet. Uh, Royal Crimson Sting looks so OP. It feels so OP. Like I want to say those were two hundreds. Like those 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 were level two hundreds. Oh, there's Cleo though. Oh, there goes Cleo. <laughs> Burn is slowly catching up. Dude, yeah, I I don't know. I think Burn's in a pretty good spot. Oh, shoot. The imposter pushback was a little bit random location. I don't know where she is in the... Uh, where in the battalion she is, or which platoon she got sent to. Well, there's there's Orohime that you're talking about, worried about. I think we should be fine. I just don't know where, um, who that sh star shower hurt. But it's okay, it's okay. People, we, we got, we got hold grounds. We got heals. We got heels and hold grounds. Royal judgment. Yeah, having a full team immune to stun is very nice to uh, just not have to worry about it. 
Uh, I love how Burn is so good. They can, they had to slow down the releases, and they're still in the meta, dude. They're Burn's very good right now. It used to be in a very bad place earlier, but right now I think the newer units have definitely helped Burn a lot more. Like Burn used to be like one of like the least played uh, types of teams. Uh, just found out that if you hit the imposter with Cleopatra, then some effect on character on the field. Then uh, they did some effect on character on the field, except other imposters. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, when imposter on your enemy side dies, all enemies get stunned and mega poisoned. Yeah, yeah, that's that's part of uh, her passive, which makes her. Pretty, pretty scary, um, in my opinion. That's also why I uh, fully awakened Cleopatra. <laughs> like, even if they do die or they do get, like, get rid of, killed, it still affects you. But if you're stun immune, not as bad. And if you can spread burn to, like, all your allies on the field, not as bad. Still, still sucks, but not, not as bad. Okay. Um, I think this looks like a pretty good team. Oh, for some reason I thought that was Dark Sun Wukong. Shoot. Okay, I was I was kind of hoping that was Dark Sun Wukong. Alright, let's keep looking. Let's keep looking. There's another sleep team. It's like two units that are asleep. Uh, I think we want more. We want we want a little bit more than just two units. Uh, I mean that looks that, that uh, I. They're all very actually. They're very strong. All of them. Oh, okay. At least at least King Arthur is not fully awakened. Let's keep looking. I like the first platoon. Three and four I'm not so thrilled about though. Uh, let's see, let's see. Who can we fight? I kind of want to avoid other burns just because burden on burn, it can take a while sometimes. <laughs> I think this is good. Sleeping Beauty, Fully Awakened King Arthur, Kaguya. Yeah, that's, that's sleepy. That's Kaguya, you got Sleeping Beauty. You got Lancelot. Uh, that's a normal one. Yeah, it's a normal dark. That's a normal Sun Wukong. Uh, try poison maybe. Okay. Uh, anyone want against the temperature in ours today? Um. Oh, it's Dio. Oh, oh, oh. let's 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 approach Dio and see if we can we can get him. Uh, can I have some suggestions for a proper mega poison team? Uh, confusing newbie still. I'm really disappointed that Mordred isn't poison unit. Oh yeah, the whole uh, poison um, blood. It would have it would have been fun, but dude, the burn is really good. The burn is the burn is very good. Like, give turn to everyone. It's there's there's a lot going for her in terms of burn, but yeah. Uh, in terms of poison teams, uh, Cleopatra, Dark Sun Wukong are good units. I would agree with that. Uh, definitely Dark Sun Wukong. She's probably one of my favorites just because she's got the whole get doppelganger. And it's just fun. For me, it's it's just fun and just really satisfying to see a good doppelganger just pop off. Uh, Cleopatra is also very good, like we saw earlier. 
she has all the imposters and makes it very hard, hard for the enemy team to get rid of them. And if they do get rid of them, they can still get mega poise, or poisoned and uh, stunned. So those two are definitely good units. Uh, I'd say I'd throw King Arthur in there as well. Uh, especially if you're if you are going for a blood team like blood poison team because she does hit really hard and she can ignore those um, hold ground plus users which can be really hard to get rid of unless you have uh, like yeah like this one over here at the bottom that's a hold ground plus but Gilgamesh could technically get rid of her because oh well, actually yeah, there's a guard. But yeah, getting rid of whole ground plus users is can be very hard and annoying at times. Uh, especially like Cinderella's can be very hard to kill. And I think just having a unit that can kill a whole ground plus user is very valuable. And it's really good if you can have it in like that archetype. And then I say get yourself a good tank. A good auto guard I would say earth Anya just because she's a poison unit and if you're going for a poison team like matching your guard with the type of team you're running uh, I think it's just really useful and it's really easy and it just it's just really useful yeah yeah I'd say try those four if you're running a poison uh, also, that dark Joan Arc right there, she's a bit older, but she's she can be good as well for poison. Like, maybe not the meta pick, but I just see her right in front of me, so I'm just gonna say her. <laughs> but yeah, uh, and then just guards, just good universal guards that can uh, like purify, that can um, do other stuff, and just keep your team alive more. Uh, I'm running a sleep team, so I can't get her. Uh, I mean, there's there's a lot of really good sleep units as well. Like, sleep is definitely... Like, it's come a very long way since 1.0. <laughs> sleep has definitely popped off, like, big time. Oh, was that reset? I have five challenges left. That might have been reset. Oh, I guess it was reset. Okay, right, let's 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 look for that poison team. Uh, I'm gonna build any team so I can choose sleep, poison, and stun. Okay, yeah, true. Like uh, having a mixed team can give you a lot of diversity, but uh, it can also run your soul stones real dry, real fast. Uh, just because there's a lot of really good units. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah here. This is the Dark Sun Wing Kong we're talking about. She is very good. Uh, one of my favorite characters. Uh, here's the King Arthur I was talking about as well. She's also very good. The Regal Eclipse. Just instant KO. Doesn't matter who she's facing. Doesn't matter HP. Doesn't matter if she's like level 1. It's uh, instant kill as long as she gets those 3 charges of like... Uh, kill three units while she's on the field and just instant death so i i think i'll fight this team it's pretty yeah it's pretty poison and then this is the uh earth anya that's just she's a poison guard auto guard and uh she has a poison skin random so spread more poison it's always good uh, stun stuff is fading out with a meta since last stun unit was Odin? Question mark? All my homies <laughs> hate Dark Cinderella. She's very hard to kill. She she has a lot of staying power. Uh, I think best poison is hybrid poison. Yeah, I think it's, it's definitely uh, nice to have some sort of backup way to deal damage other than having your enemy poisoned so in that sense king arthur is kind of nice because she can do a little bit of blood uh where is it eh, blood sacrifice yeah but yeah let's let's fight the poison team 
was this one, right? Hey, yeah, it's this one. And we can look. We can look at Dark Sun Wukong. See, that's doubling arts. It's super fun. I hate to fight it though. <laughs> it's fun if you, if it's you. It's fun if you're using it. It's not fun if you. It's the enemy using it. Uh, but yeah, we can we can look for stun. It might take a while though to find. Because I agree that there's not a whole lot of like super dedicated uh whatchamacallit stun teams lately. Or just in general. Ooh, that Royal Crimson Sting. Did you see that? It just, it just, it just kills everything, man. It just kills everything. Oh my god. I kind of wish Gilgamesh went for King Arthur, but that, that's fine. But yeah, dude, that Royal Crimson Sting. It just destroys. It's just so strong. Oh my god. Uh, damn, I hope Earth uh, uh, Anya reruns soon. I need both water and Earth. Got none of them. Uh, I think Meta Poison uh, Team Light Anya or uh, Yukata Lud is better than Earth Anya. That is true. Th those those are also very good uh, universal guards that can really go on any team. Like Light Anya, she can give turn like instant give turn. She can cleanse. She's pretty. She's very tanky as well, especially if you can survive those first three hits like she doesn't get one shot and Yukata Lud is also a very good uh, pick as well uh, did you see my King Arthur boss battle I used a uh, disorganized team I don't think I did unfortunately like I, I like off the top of my head I don't think uh, a specific one comes in mind that I remember uh, I guess I'm going to try out all of them. Yeah, no. I'd say, like, even though I say Earth Anya, like, it's kind of just, like, an easy pick because poison and just more... It's, she spreads more poison. But really, any of the uh, good guards will work. Uh, you just want some sort of auto guard. It can be Earth Anya. It could be Light Anya. It could be uh, Yukata Lud because she also has some good support as well but you could also put like uh bride lance a lot in there as well like there's there's a lot of just universally good guards that you can uh throw in there uh mordred's danger level goes from three to ten when using real crimson sting dude it's so strong it's terrifyingly good like it it makes me want to throw more into her. <laughs> uh, how much? How much uh, character exp exp do I have? Uh, uh, I, I can limit break that. How much character exp do I have though? Do I have enough to get to another level? I don't have anyone that's... Well, I guess we, we can limit break her and see if we have enough resources. Or a decent amount. Um, there she is. But yeah, it hits 1.8 mil. Yeah, 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 we have enough. We have enough. Yeah, nah, that should be fine. Yeah. She hits... Oh, that's, that's not her. That's her. She hits very hard. Like, it's absolutely insane. Like, 130 is a lot. 3 Spirit is a lot. If she has 3 charges, totally worth it. Totally worth it. True! That is, that's true. She has uh, Enrage as well. Oh my god, so... That is that's actually that's actually pretty terrifying. 
something dies, she gets healed, enraged, enraged on top of potentially 600% to everyone. That's really good. And I also like that uh, it's not like, what's, what, what's her face? Um, one of the Alice's, like the star light battle girl something form, where it's like an RNG of it could be really high or it could be a low roll. Like it's a guarantee 600% if you have enough charges. Like that's really good. <laughs> Yeah, and the higher level you get her, I'm assuming the less likely she's going to reset her charges to reset the um, hold ground plus. I feel like the most stun is probably Lancelot and Bride Joan Arc. That's like characters you'll see at. A whole lot of. Uh, I mean, I guess I guess we could at least look for Odin. We could look for Odin. Oh, Clarice's stun. It's a lot of level ones. They have a lot of confidence. Let's try look for Odin for stun. Dude, they're how how are they so high? Come on, stun. Uh wait, you have one copy of Gilgamesh. Oh, haha. <laughs> that might be um so I have the fully awakened copy. I think that one copy that you saw, that's when I pulled the double. <laughs> like, I was looking for my fifth copy, and that's when I got the double. <laughs> that's, that's why there's the lone Gilgamesh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, basically, at full potential, she can do 800% damage to all enemies. Yeah, that's it's, that's a lot. It's it's a lot. Uh, I'm focusing all my material on King Arthur to get her to 200 with her weapon. Uh, should I keep going? Uh, is she she is currently 180. Uh, yeah, I would I would definitely go for 200. In general, if you have a newer ish unit. Uh, getting it to 200 is more valuable than a whole bunch of, like, level 100s or level 120s. Like, I mean, actually, like, 100 at least, maybe, just because you get the, uh, their, you unlock their full kit, since a lot of times, uh, an active skill or a passive is locked behind that first awakening. But yeah, typically... Getting one character that's relatively new to 200 is more valuable, as long as it's a, as it's a newer character. If it's an older character, it's, it's not worth it at all. Here we go. There's Odin. Okay, yeah, let's... This is... That's kind of a scary team. But we will try it. We will try fight against Mustard. Come on. Nah, I think you gotta do that. Hello, bro. Hey, how's it going? Good to see you in chat. Uh, thank you for joining the stream. Odin's about to get instant killed. Possibly. I mean, it is, it is definitely possible. But I mean, her very first attack, I don't think she's gonna have enough. Like, that's, I think that's like one charge, maybe? Two charge? I don't think she's gonna instantly have uh six charges like it, it it takes takes a little bit to build up oh plus we need spirit ah they're going for my eyes they w i got weakened uh 
Uh, Cerberus wants those kills. Yeah, a little, little lacking on the spirit right now. I mean, maybe Nobunaga could potentially. Ah, there's Hellhound. Got the stun. Uh, greetings from Ukraine. Oh, how's it going, uh, Daddy Papa? Popa. Popa? Papa. <laughs> Popa. Thank you for uh, joining the stream. Um, I'm glad to see you here. Hopefully, uh, you guys are doing all right in Ukraine over there. Uh, bro, there's no way it's 36 degrees in here. Feels like I'm being fried alive. Dude, 36 should be pretty chill. Uh, you're a fried human, very delicious. I mean, everyone loves some bacon, man. <laughs> fried, fried pig. Some bacon, like, is is pretty pretty hard to go wrong with some bacon. I mean, Odin is good in the sense that she does have all her birds, and her staying power is very nice. Oh, kind of wish Gilgamesh would pop off on her. Uh, Royal skills to get rid of those hug ground pluses. But yeah, like they're they're surviving pretty well. Like they she's she's definitely hanging in there. Ooh, the Hypno won the 50-50. Is it 50-50? Or is it 25? Okay, so she... I think she did get to hold ground. Plus levels. Fifty Celsius in area. Damn. Uh, I played Evertail for four years now. Wow, that's a that's a very long time. You're you're like me. You're you're a veteran at this point. You've you've seen all the changes that it's gone through, and uh, yeah, like yeah, that is is good to see that uh, we have some people who are newer and older, and like it, it's nice to see a good diversity in chat. I'm I'm, I'm glad to see it. I'm thank you all for uh, coming and joining and seeing how crazy her attacks are, seeing uh, Mordred and now. Yeah. Now, I remember when Light Saya was the overdrive unit for Bird. She's so far behind now. <laughs> yeah, she used to be. It, was, it used to be insane that she could hit everyone and uh, her overdrive. But the multipliers are just nothing in comparison now. Too much loot. Very true. Hundred percent agree with you. Is very, uh, very loot. Come on, Gilgamesh, get rid of the whole ground plus. Get rid of it. Why would you royal flame? Gilgamesh, that's why I have you. Okay, well, it's all right. Okay, it's all right. We got, we got rid of the Freya. We got rid of Freya. Uh, true, true, true. Damn, we're we're getting actually pretty high up there in the rankings. Um, that looks like a very strong team. I mean. I feel like we might lose, but why not? Let's let's try fight the Ace of Weebs. Ace the Weebs. Ace the Weeb. She is strong. She is very strong. Like 
Yeah, the multipliers and the damage she can output. I want to say it's the hardest hitting AOE burn unit off the top of my head. I don't think I don't think Cerberus goes that hard. Yeah, it's, that's 300 for Hellhound, but you can get a little bit of stun action. Like I think I think that's the hardest hitting burn unit for an AOE. And and it ignores stealth, which is it's just huge. Like it's massive to ignore stealth. Honestly, I feel like stealth could use a little bit of love. <laughs> it could uh like it's it, it's it's been a bit for stealth. It used to be so OP and just everywhere. But now that a lot of things ignore stealth, it's definitely calmed down almost a little too much. Maybe, possibly, possibly. Uh, this unit might be SSS tier. Yeah, like, I, I... She might be the... Just damage-wise for burn... She's definitely up there. She might be the best damage for burn. It's it's very possible. It's very possible. Dude, that, that counter stance, it's just, it's so nice. Like, what, what, like, other than defeating, uh, whole ground plus, what more do you want? S potential 300 to 600% AoE, ignoring stealth, uh, she can en enrage herself and fully heal herself. When anyone dies, just anyone, enemy, ally, anyone. Uh, actually, maybe, I think the only other thing she's missing would be spreading burn to allies. Yeah, I think, I think that's it. Whole ground plus and uh, getting rid of whole ground plus and spreading burn to allies. I think that's the only thing she's missing. And I guess potentially healing allies, since there are burn units that can uh, spread burn and heal. But that that's asking for a lot. She already does a lot. She already does a whole lot. Uh, wait a minute, Mordred is not poison. She is not. Uh, we thought she might be poison blood based off of the event, I guess. But they fooled us all. She's burned. She is burn. She is a very, very strong burn unit. Like, she is definitely up there. Like, very, very powerful. Uh, possibly one of the best DPS for burn right now. Uh, the moment a guard is gone, she's going to die first most likely that is true well eh, we could test that theory <laughs> um yeah let's let, let's let's test that theory let's let's we've been doing very well we're actually getting very close to top 50 <laughs> but yeah let's test that theory um, let's get rid of Astrid. I don't... It's a guard. I guess we get... We move... We move Nobunaga. We get rid of the double uh, guards. And we see how well she does. 
Yeah, let's 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 test that theory. Let's test that theory. Uh, according to Estonix post, she is poison on Wednesday's leak. Yeah, uh, it was, but uh, I think it was like a speculation, but it was not actually confirmed. But uh, yeah, like this is this is her right now. The banner that's currently up. Uh, she is definitely burn. Uh, she has mega healing burn. Uh, healing burn and she gets burned she heals she does damage she does a lot of really really good stuff so uh, I think a lot of people just got juked because of the event that they speculated that it was poison blood but uh, turned out to be burn but it's fine like uh, it happens like can't can't win them all Uh, if you check uh, ET to a box, her hate is abnormally high, so it's likely she's going to be targeted most. Uh, it was only boss version. Yeah, yeah. Only the boss version. I'm. That's not a raid. Eh, go back. Okay. Let's see. That's a strong team. Dude, we're getting... <laughs> We're getting very questionably high in terms of I don't think I can test 140s. <laughs> like I don't I don't know if I can test 140s, 160s. Like we're getting very high. Ah, it's a sleep. We might be able to do the sleep. Jojo possibly. I mean, they're, they're both, they're all really high. Um, sure, let's try, let's try this. I mean, there's, there's the Himiko, there's the Dark Sun Wukong, so that's poison. We got the Loki. Uh, yeah, let's see how well she goes against a uh, team without the guards. So this is... No guards, on purpose, just for funsies. Like, let's see how much hate she's going to get. And if she dies instantly. Oh, they went for Astrid. Well, we now have guard. <laughs> okay, so possibly a lot of hate. But I guess uh, Astrid has more hate. <laughs> Uh, I think she made her poison boss stage just so they synergize with King Arthur. I was lied to. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I don't. I don't know how the uh, AI works. It's. It's not always super consistent. Sometimes, it'll do one thing. Other times, it'll just completely change. Come on, big damage. Oh, that's, that's, that's good. That's a good amount of damage. They were like half-ish HP though. Oh, there's the dark transformation. Yeah, having having extra heals for your burn allies. It's it's actually very nice. It's 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 very nice to have. Oof. Well, I mean, I guess it technically wasn't targeted to her heart towards her. That was a good amount of damage. Okay, now, now we just need her to uh, hold ground reset. I think she should be able to hold it off as well because we now have a uh, bright Asher down the field. I mean, I, I guess I could throw her farther back, like the guards. 
Oh, she's not. Oh, she did get a, a whole ground plus again. Like, it's going pretty decently. It's pretty much guard, guard, her, and another unit, which is... Those two up top are kind of negligible, sort of. Because I think they, they are high level, but they're pretty outdated. Uh, I Espa said same thing when Morgid Leak comes out. Uh, that's what he said, disappointed. Uh, there's no X in the word, especially. Uh, I mean, uh, Loki did attack all and Morgid returned the favor for real. <laughs> Hi, boy. Welcome back. Welcome back. Good to see you guys. Oh, I looked away. Is she dead? Oh, no, no. She's, she's pushed back. She's, she's pushed back. I see her in the reinforcement. That's probably... Yeah, that was uh, Earth Astrid. That was the pushback. Okay, so she's, she's still alive somewhere. Still alive somewhere. But yeah. I would, I'd have to agree. I'd say definitely better with a guard, but apparently the AI hates uh, Commander Astrid more than they hate, they, they hate Mordred because they instantly went for uh, Commander Astrid with uh, zero guards on the field. Yeah, there's, yeah. Uh, Elmina also, they went for Elmina over Mordred as well. I don't know. It doesn't seem like her hate's that high. This is before uh, Makaya came on the field. Like, her hate doesn't seem that bad. We just gotta stop this uh, Snow White from transforming from black and white. Oh, no. Uh, they lie to me. Lies everywhere. <laughs> okay. No guards on the field. Who are they going to hit? Zero guards. Okay, there's Mordred. But we got the whole ground uh, plus back. Which is, again... Very, it's very nice. So, like, maybe, may, maybe after Astrid and a couple other people, then it gets to Mordred. <laughs> Just gotta go down the uh, checklist line, dude. She's she's hanging in there, though. The heated strike plus the whole ground reset, it's coming in pretty, it's doing very well. Like without any guards. Yeah, there's whole ground reset again. It's, it's doing very well. Maybe try again. <laughs> Here, I'll... Yeah. I'll do this. Let's, let's test out a new team. Oh, that's a guard. Uh, let's go Mordred. Commander. Gilgamesh. Uh, Nobu. Let's try without guards. I mean, yes. You're not a guard. You summon a guard. Uh, sure, throw that. And then we'll throw in the... Uh... Okay, so is, this is going to be like a long ways till we get a guard. 
Actually, yeah, we'll, 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 th we'll throw it even farther down the line. And then we'll just throw the guards in when it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> Uh, what you're seeing, I would not recommend at all to, to do. Uh, I'm just doing it just because, like, just to see how well or how horrible she goes without guards. Because she was doing actually really well. Uh, what's her weapons? It's a sword and an axe. Let's, that's actually, that'd be a good weapon for her. Yeah, so let's see uh, how well she does with, like, zero guards for a very long time. I'm also not that confident because uh, I'm pretty high up in uh, arena rank right now. And I'm probably going to get destroyed <laughs> for having a, a bad lineup. But... It's fine. Like it's 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 for funsies. It's to test things out, and just see how see how her survivability is, and how much she really needs a guard, or if she can kind of semi just, uh, just go nuts and not really uh, care about guards as much. I'm one short on the accessory. Okay, new battalion. Uh, I think. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Let's see it. No guards. Uh, hi, bro. How are you? Sorry. Um, came late. No worries. No worries. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Dude, she seems very, very good. Uh, she hits like a truck. And we're actually testing how well she does for survivability right now. We got rid of like all our guards. Oh yeah, someone wanted to look at the uh, Water Anya as well. So, here's a Water Anya. We are seeing... Yeah, yeah, her su pretty much her survivability. Oh, her turn order is actually kind of nice too. She's a little on the slower side. Dude, everyone just got turns, yeah. Oh, she just used... She just used her charges, though, so she's not going to hit as hard. I don't know. That was still pretty hard. <laughs> that was still pretty... That was still pretty hard. Am I crazy? These are... These are still really good numbers. Uh, how much did you spend to fully awaken her? Uh, I went over 500 summons. Uh, what you call? I think someone said 580. Like, uh, not not 600. I do know that. But it was like five, 500 something. Someone, so, I saw 580 somewhere. So like a little, a little bit more than uh, I was hoping for, but it's all good. Like we got her. She's very strong. Okay, there, one HP. Oh, she did not reset. She might die. Actually, there's the heals. Oh, but if she gets one shot, come on, reset. Yeah, there's the whole ground plus. Yeah, like, she's hanging in there. Again, she hits very hard. Her passive helps a lot. Like, if something dies, she heals. So, the one on top, she died, so she gets heals. And then reset the whole ground plus again.
Yeah, I, I think she can work without, uh, like, a whole bunch of auto guards. But they do help. Like, I think the guards do help. Uh, Dark Cinderella is annoying as heck to deal with. That is very true. She, she is. She is very hard to get rid of. I think they killed Gilgamesh already as well. And Gilgamesh was, uh, that. Oh no, the Dark Cin- my Dark Cinderella. <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, Gilgamesh in my own Dark Cinderella is the way to get around their Dark Cinderella. But I think they just both died, so... Yeah, Dark Cinderella's gonna be... It's gonna be hard to get rid of. Yeah, she's... She's still hanging in there. Another whole ground plus. I think she's very good. She feels very, very good. Like, like if I had to categorize just like S tier, A tier, B tier, I think she's going in S. In terms of burn teams, I think she's gonna go in S. Ooh, okay, she can die here. Oh no, maybe maybe she did that because no, she, no, she's dead. She's dead. Okay, finally died. But that lasted a very long time. Like that lasted a really long time, considering uh, there were no guards for the longest time. Till like platoon three, I want to say. Yeah. Yeah, like, it's fine, we lost. Uh, I wasn't planning or hoping to win. Uh, just because testing out stuff, testing out how she works and like how good her staying power is and on top of her DPS. And I wanna say her survivability is still really good. She lasted a very, very long time. Yeah, yeah, like, what what do you guys think? Like, like I think she's very very good. Yeah, and this thing is instant too. Super fast, gaining charges back, and then her counter stance resets hold ground plus. Uh, Demolition Raid goes brr. Uh, is that she's high rate but also a high survivability? She does. She is. Her survivability is too great. And boom, only team you lost against is sleep. And boom, only team lost. Yeah. And she's must have survivability, high crowd control unit. Yeah, she's very, very good. And the other, the other reason why I lost the sleep team is. Uh, my lineup for my battalion, uh, I, I just did it just to test stuff out. Like, ideally, you're probably going to want to run, uh, something more like this with more guards, uh, higher up, spread out, because a bunch of mine were just in the back just to try, try and prove a point more or less. But yeah, very, very strong unit for burn possibly one of the best she's definitely really really high up there like uh in terms of a, a permanent battalion team it might be something like this for my first platoon oh wait i i moved around nobunaga Yeah, like something like that. But yeah, she's very, very good. Oh, yeah. Damage, amazing. Um, survivability, amazing. Yeah.
Yeah. Uh, do you guys have any other thoughts, opinions, or ideas or anything? Because I think that's 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 about all I can think of in terms of a uh, arena. I guess we can go over her, her kid again if you guys want. The Royal Bloodbath, super good, very useful. I actually don't think I really actually. It's because it's locked for 200 after. That's why I didn't see it used like spammed, which makes sense. But when it is used, it's so good. It's it's really good. And her speed kind of works well. That like all, all her allies goes, does her thing. Then they get another turn like immediately after because she's slower. Like it, it's really good. Heated Strike, I think the part that makes it really good for the gaining charges is that it's 50 to you having a really fast quick attack to gain the charges so that once uh she goes down to like one hp again her counter stance will trigger and she can reset her whole ground plus with brewing blood like oh it's, it's usable only if three charges but yeah like this helps get you the charges and then royal crimson sting is just insane damage like I, I that's all you need to know it hits very very hard and imagine if you fully invest in her get her to 200 it's gonna just destroy teams yeah resettable whole ground plus insane counter stance uh that doesn't count as a skin super good immune to stun and then just being able to heal and get enraged and get all those benefits when anything on the field dies. Yeah. I I think she's S tier. Like if you have burn and you have like guards and stuff, definitely consider uh pulling for Mordred. Uh especially if you have the soul stones and if you like have enough um saved for, for fountain, saved for other units in the future. But yeah. I think that's going to be it for this video. Thank you all for sticking around to the end and joining the stream. I, I had so much fun with you guys. It was really fun. I'm glad you came. Uh, thank you all very much. And yeah, I will see you guys all in the next stream, in the next video. Uh, say bye, chat, and uh, I'll see you all later. Take care, everyone. Bye.